Who, man? Afraid I was when you summoned me, but open the path she has to my home. This mean woman come visit me. Understand you will after meet. How to heal island? Left your farm my home. If confused, look at drawing I share. Thanks. I I see some magical sparkly butterflies there. Are they doing the ominous TikToking? Recording short videos for likes. All right, where are you going? I'm being led this way by magical en energies. Come on. This might mean something. to me butterfly I'm trying trying real hard I got it somehow I find swallowtail butterfly Greetings, I am human. Human! Oh, Hi, Chieftain. Thank you, human, to come here. You're a giant. Goom goom. I, Chieftain is giant for long waited I have for you come this way look here seen you have these writings but understand you do not see you not the power of shrines, but see you must. Thanks, Shatner. Keep, they are, to help goddess. Help goddess, the sickness gone. Iso ox. Time now for ceremony. Fast we must do. Hurley hurt only a little, but open your eyes, Will. Starting in five, four, three, now! I like this guy. Oh. I'm gonna get antipoded. See? Done so fast. Awakened you have to power of nature. Goom Goom? Goddess who? 
The goddess must answer, not come from me. Ready you are to meet goddess. In Lake Temple, they're her home. Speak no more. Rest now I must, after ceremony. Again will I speak to you, human. Not now. Later. Goombye. Well, all right then. You've unlocked the third eye. You are now able to read and understand the languages of old. Neat. Meet the goddess of the lake temple. <sighs> yeah, I did not grow a cauliflower in zero time. Maybe there's one in here. Nope. Candy. Oh, is that his bed? I just stole that man's candy. Huh. What do we do now? Good throw. That's oh, the moths. Real skittish, these guys. Get him! I don't like talking about my scar because first of all, it's nobody's business. Second of all, it's still nobody's business. I... Nice to meet you too. Oh my god. I love your house. A farmer? Okay. I'm Kira. I want this house. Not close enough to Kenny, Kira, or Jack to enter this room. To the caves? I don't have a sword, though. Should I really go to the caves? And I've got all these bugs on me. And a fish. All right, I'm going to drop them off, then go straight to the caves. Also, I'll eat some flowers or something. I don't know. I'm new in town. And I'm going to catch this flipping moth. I'm gaining on him. Never going to see it coming. Bam! A poos moth. Mispronounced on purpose. I'm trying to run a wholesome channel here. Jogo! I will get some rain soon. Me too. Those, all those minutes every day. Spent watering my garden. Donate. There. Potatoes. That's all I've ever wanted. What up, dog? Maybe if we do this. You seem frazzled. Sugar heart, come take a look at this. You see this? This is a blueprint for a bigger museum. The museum we have now is... Uh, sweat drop. It works, but can you imagine something bigger? Something more extravagante. Imagine this, sugar heart. We 
We have one section dedicated to the aquatic creatures of the island. Then there's another section where we can look at all the fossils we've dug up. Oh, we can have a bigger and better section for an ancient artifacts. For the ancient artifacts. How's my VTuber position? Am I blocking words? Doesn't that sound exciting? That sounds really cool. Isn't it? But there's one big problem, though. The town just doesn't have a budget to build this museum. At least not yet. So, what if we raise the money to build it? By that, I mean I'm going to start a Kickstarter campaign. Do you know what a Kickstarter is? Yeah. Yeah. I heard about this silly farming game on an island that got kicks or pick started for like two million dollars. Ah, text box is clear. Cool. I know what it is. I uh, just don't know if you should. Huh? I don't know. Can you explain? Kickstarter is a crown for an it crowdfunding platform. We put our project online, and then people can help find fund it. In return, we'll give them something from the project as a token of our appreciation. Great idea, right? Anyway. I'm almost ready to launch this campaign, but there are a few things I need help with. Based on my research, the most successful campaigns are those that have already have something significant to show. Something to reassure backers that they're backing a legit progress. Or legit project. If I show the empty museum in the campaign, people are going to think this project is a scam or something. Now, my dear, hard-working sugar heart, this is where you come in. We're really happy with what you brought to the museum so far. They're all amazing, but it's not enough. I asked Macy to take pictures of our museum yesterday, and it just looked empty. No one is going to help us if all we show them is an empty museum. If we were, you were to donate more items, you see where I'm going with this? No, I haven't put it two and two together yet. That's right. The museum won't look so empty if we can convince more people to help us fund our project. Or, and we can. Now, while you help us gather more artifacts, I'm gonna prepare other materials to upload to the campaign page. I'll scan this blueprint, then I'll ask Millie to write up something awesome for the campaign. Oh, maybe I should get Lily to make us a website. Look at that, it's all coming together. Now go for it, Sugarheart. Collect more items so we can launch our Kickstarter campaign. Uh, let's see, just need to donate a million more things? I can do that. But first, we're going to the cavern? The goddess can wait. I mean, she probably exists beyond time, so, you know. No rush. in the right way sorta let me take these mushrooms they might be worth a million oh hey stretchy not talking about the marks just here to pick up some fresh irises for the inn all right whoever this is they're closed so she's here to pick up Fresh irises from a closed store. Seems legit. Ooh, a Luna Moth. Don't believe I have one of those. Or else. Man, we're going to be loaded up in inventory by the time we get to the cavern. Alright, here we go. 
see what the big deal is. Seems safe enough. Get back, get back! You, the weak looking farmer, get back! Get back from the mobs! Wait a minute, where are the monsters? Well, Mark and I did clear out the top levels, but that quake, huh. The shaking happened right after you entered, right? Well, that's a sassy walk, too. There's an old myth about certain curses reacting to a presence, but that can wait. My name is Kira. I assume you're the new farmer? Being a farmer and all, you're probably here to do some mining. That's what farmers do, isn't it? In that case, only the earth shaft is currently accessible. The elevator over there works, but only down to the first floor. From there, you'll have to descend by foot. If you go down deep enough, you can restore access to the other floors. Definitely come to the right place to mine for ores and gems. These caves have them aplenty. Just don't forget they have monsters too. Take this sword. You'll need something to defend yourself with. It's a long descent. Make sure you're well supplied. Careful down there, and good luck. Reach level five, huh? And turn the elevator back on, okay. Hang on. Doop, 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 doop. Sword goes in slot one, you know, for emergencies. Yeah, here we go. Well, this seems safe enough. Bronze ore. But I thought that was a composite. Alright. Have at thee. Inventory's full. Of course it's full. Guess let's get some food out. Oh, I have to mine my way deeper. What is this? I actually want that one. Uh, let's get rid of these flowers, I guess. Earth Essence. Okay. Did I just take a torch or turn it off? I just took it, I think. Can't touch, need torch. This is clearly a trap of some kind. Is it in here? I like that the caterpillar is wearing a hoodie. Or at least looks like it. Ah, 
I've been playing too many survival crafting games lately. I keep looking at my uh, tools to see if they they've run out of durability. to go fishing but I've also got to like find a checkpoint of some kind I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about like surely there's some really rare cave fish down here It's officially nighttime. But we gotta find our way down to the next floor. have here. Alright. I'm missing out on something here. Probably live without the wild seeds. Mystery geode. Before we get out of here, I must fish. Come on, rare cave fish. Tilapia! That's not a cave fish. Uh, what don't I want? All this stuff is cool. I can live without compost, I think. Alright, we've got a little more time. Get this bronze while we can. And enjoy the slight discoloration of death. Alright, can I just go straight back to five? Yeah. Alright. Dungeon seems fairly standard. Alright, lightning bugs are super jittery. Okay, cool, cool. Oh, where did he go? There we go. Alright, let's go survive a day. I do like my magical flaming sword. Oh, 
Oh wait, I can read this now, can't I? Sacred area. Okay. Cool. It's a good thing I can read those words. Everything's so much clearer now. Alright. I don't need candy. I don't need mushrooms. Tilapia's going away. Morels I can live without. Put my potatoes in there. Uh, transfer neat things. And yeah, all the rest is going to town with me. Pretty successful day, really. New craftables explosives. All right. Pablo, hello, hello! What could be better than a visit from your local blacksmith? Right around town, that is, you've started to mine the earth shaft. That's actually why I'm here. As you mine, you'll come across ores. What good does that do me, you might be thinking? Well, you can turn the ores into bars. With enough bars, our ship can upgrade your, our shop can upgrade your tools. Work smarter, not harder, as they, I like to say. For a fee, of course. <laughs> to make bars, you'll need a furnace, which you can now craft, courtesy of this blueprint. Well, thank you, Pablo. You need five of the same ores to make one bar. You'll also need one charcoal to file up, fire up the furnace. Yeah, I think you're all set now. Craft a furnace, huh? Easy peasy. Okay. And that all sounds great. Uh, do I not have those? Five or uh, one coal. I've got ten and four. This all sounds great. How do I load it up? I'm only slightly infuriated by this interaction. Your ship. Pablo. Alright. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, Furnace. You've been super helpful. Your sugar heart. We're gathering at the lake tomorrow to celebrate the start of spring. There's a potluck uh, cookout at the festival, so make sure to bring something yummy. 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. See you there. I suppose. Choose them from your menu. All right. Oh, I think I get it. You have to carry them in your hands. Thank you. I needed a pro tip. Nothing there.
Thank you for that. Alright, I feel like it's somebody's birthday today. Or close to it. Is it your birthday? Busy, busy, busy. Good thing the tavern boys will be helping me out tomorrow. Valentina, are you still the best? Oh my gosh, tomorrow's the Cherry Blossom Festival. I can't wait to see all the pretty flowers and yummy snacks. It's going to be the best day ever. Tomorrow, it's my duty to be Raphael's personal crowd. Crowd shield at the festival. He's a bit skittish with the masses, you see. Is he some kind of famous guy? The guy with the sticky hair, right? We're getting there. Now they've got a tilapia. The only thing more common than the common house fly. Uh, what am I doing with my life? Right, I was gonna check uh, the bulletin board. I think that's over here somewhere. No errands. Calendar. Kenny's birthday. Where can I find him? And does he like garbage? Okay, if I go to relationships, select Kenny. Will you tell me where he is? Tab. It's down here by the... Uh, uh, the ranch. Okay. Cool, cool. How are you doing? I'll be at the Cherry Bla Blossom Festival, stethoscope in hand, just in case. But mostly, I'm looking forward to the fun. And find the Goddess Spring. Now, shall we? What am I doing? Uh, spring furniture. I feel like there was something really important that I was trying to do. And it's just... It's driving me nuts. What is this? In a bigger house to put cooking utensils. But arcade machines. Actually, it does sound pretty important. All right, Goddess or Kenny? I think we might go the Goddess. Uh, Goddess. What are you doing? Hopefully we can capture footage of animals again at the festival tomorrow. Usually we'll get something special like beavers and flamingos. But this is kind of a subtropical environment. Do you really get beavers down here? Sugar heart. At last. But my time is short. You just teleported me 10 feet. The altars! They hold the key to rejuvenate my strength and heal the land. Who 
Begin with an offering at this altar. In return, receive my blessing. You transverse the shrines. They will aid you in your dream. You can offer items at the temple to hear, heal Coral Island. Okay. Essential resources. K. Okay. Essential pine cones, very essential. Spring food. Summer food, fall food, winter food. Sweet winter watermelons. Ocean loot. Actually, now hang on. If winter. Winter is watermelons. Hot peppers. Just trying to figure out what hemisphere we're in. Though I guess. Is. Is June a winter month in. Uh, in Australia, or would it be, would it still be summer? They just have colder weather there. I have questions. I should really visit the Southern Hemisphere sometime. There's just so much to do on the Northern Hemisphere. What with all the landmass. Oh, hey, I got a geode for this guy. Mystery geode. A peridot. Alright, what does it take to upgrade my tools? Five bronze bars. Hmm. I genuinely wonder what the best tool to upgrade first is. I mean, probably the sword? Hey, what are you doing here? Cherry Blossom Festival, huh? I don't know. Crowds aren't really my thing, but I don't want to miss out on Frank's cooking. That's a dilemma. Dude, same. So far of the people I met, they've all felt pretty dateable to me. Like, they're... When you play Stardew Valley, you do something like meet the, the blonde girl. I want to say her name's... Uh, it's not Olivia, is it? Bailey? Yeah, you meet her and you know right away she's like completely undateable, right? I haven't met anyone like that on Coral Island. Everybody here is charming in their own way. Though, come to think of it, I really haven't gotten to know any of them. I'm trying to remember, like, the the reaction we had with Bailey and Stardew. Like, you see her for the first time and you give her a dandelion and she's like, Oh, you are a disgusting, worthless human being. How dare you cross my path? You know, Sugarheart, the Cherry Blossom Festival is the perfect opportunity for some tranquil fishing. Got some extra rods and baits if the kids want to join in on the adventure. That does sound fun. Hey, what would it take to upgrade my house? Just tons of wood, tons of bronze. It would get slightly bigger. Ooh, and there's the different styles. Ah, 
not a ton to choose from. My wife probably would like this one for the natural light. I think this one looks a little cozier. Good thatched roof. This one looks pretty cool too. I like the moss. Does it come with the moss? Oh, that costs a thousand to change my style? Shoot. Carpenter. I need to build a coop or a barn or something. And why would I ever build a water source? There's ponds everywhere. Alright. I've got things to think about. Pickaxe is a good one first so you can mine faster. That's fair. Yeah, that's actually probably a really good call. Three sixty no scope. Gotcha. Got an awesome. Good old Assam Moth. Wait. Uh, right. I was going to see Kenny. Seems to be nowhere around here. Alright. Where are you, Kenny? All the way up there. We're on our way. Just gonna give him a flower, I think. I don't know what else to give him. Danny? Oh, there you are. You having some tacos? Dude. This man's got good taste. His tacos chilling by a waterfall? There ain't no beauty quite like cherry blossoms dancing in the breeze. Hope you come down for some good company tomorrow, Sugarheart. Uh, yes. Now what do I have to offer you? Yeah, just flowers. How'd you know it's my birthday today? Awesome. Well, okay, I tried. Yeah. Tiger. I got one of those before, I think. What are you? You're not a fly. You're a wasp! What is this business? It won't budge. Okay. Oh, what's back here? Mango steam. I don't know what that means. But we got one. <coughs> one day cows. Hopefully by the end of the stream. All right, we got bronze. I don't really know what we're out here to do. Find bugs, sell bugs. Some flowers, some shiitake mushrooms. I'm 
What are you taking pictures of? Oh, the world feels pinker and happier. I swear every cherry blossom petal has its own little smile. I can't wait for tomorrow. That's right, we're supposed to bring some kind of food to the cherry blossom festival, huh? Maybe we should actually go to a store and buy some. That would be at the fish uh, shack, I imagine. Which I think is right here. Howdy. Uh, you've got garbage. Uh, straight up bring a cake. And what are you doing? Are you the bartender? Frank and I are getting ready for the Cherry Blossom Festival tomorrow. Well, it's mostly me because I'm the one gathering ingredients today. The Cherry Blossom Festival, quite the small town charade. But I suppose it has its local charm. Unlike you. Oh, hey. Mate, tomorrow's the peak of spring vibes for me. It's the Cherry Blossom Festival. Yeah. Sound, sounds rad. I don't know, Butter. What do you think? When's the next birthday? Scott and Oliver, huh? What kind of things do you like, Scott? Do you like... Butterflies? I appreciate the thought, but this is not cool. I... Fine. I mean, I thought because he was a guy in a museum full of cool insects and fish, like, maybe he'd like one. You know? Maybe he had some sort of interest in these kinds of things. I guess I was wrong about you, Scott. Alright, daffodils, canolas, daffodil, shiitake. We go to bed now. We can make a kiln. And Kenny likes us a little better. Good. What does it take to make a kiln? And why would I want to? When to charcoal scrap into glass and stone into glass. Okay, that's interesting. Apparently you need a ton of bronze ore. Bronze ore sounds like it's gonna be a problem. Uh, do not consume the peony. It is a flower. You can give out a bunch of turnips. They seem pretty well appreciated. But importantly, uh, not the whole thing, just one. Just gonna keep one of everything.
Boop. Some potates. Get them watered. Alright, now what? What am I doing? Bringing a cake to the festival, maybe dropping off some stuff at the museum. Heinz Sphinx. All right. I see there are some decorations up. Kind of neat. And my reward of 20 glass. Critters. We're gonna get we're gonna get our cat. I wanna say his name is Frankie, the one we want. Don't worry about Charles, he's in good hands. We got everything under control. Let me do the worrying for both of us. Cool? That sounds Excellent. Have a turnip. Nice. Thanks. Oh, hey, I haven't met you yet. Let me let me draw my sword first. So you're a farmer, right? <laughs> Explains the outfit. How cute. Oh, I think we found this game's Bailey. Look, just take the turnip, ma'am. <laughs> of all the places you go, why did, on earth would you move here? Take the turnip. This is just so, so not the best gift, but I appreciate the effort. I mean, it was still pretty practical. I do like reasonable responses. All right, is this where the party's at? Ah, there you are. The mayor and I are still getting ready for the festival. Yes, 